the curtains are closed. I know it when the cameras aren't running. That's why Oprah Winfrey does not want to sit down publicly with me nor my husband to have a conversation. Oprah Winfrey is a slave trader. Why do you think she has that school in South Africa? Why does she hang out with who she hangs out with? Rose McGowan has put Oprah on blast. Rose recently called out Oprah on Twitter over her past associations with some controversial men. Rose wrote, quote, from being Oprah Winfrey, you know what you need to do and stop hiding behind what you call was negative comments. When most people think Oprah, first thing that comes to mind is that she's a legend that's made her mark in the industry. And while this may be true, she has also managed to remain at the center of several scandals over the years. Well, it seems those scandals are starting to catch up with her, as she was recently called out and canceled by the vast majority. But I know that's hard to believe considering the standard she's created for herself in the industry, but you'd be surprised about just how shady her journey to the top has been. Good thing you have me, because I'm here with all the gist. So just stay tuned till the end so you don't miss exactly what she did that tipped the public over. And if the abuser is any good, he or she is going to make you feel like you're a part of it. As someone in showbiz, it's generally almost impossible to completely avoid scandals. But even with as hard as it may be, Oprah takes the scandal game to the next level, as the television diva has been repeatedly caught up in a series of less than ideal situations. And one thing that has been constant about these situations she's been in is that they usually involve another party. To drive my point, let's take her relationship with Harvey Weinstein, for example. Winfrey and Weinstein have had a professional relationship that stretches back two decades. There are many photographs of her kissing and hugging the mogul at awards ceremonies and events sponsored by the Weinstein Company. She has starred in and produced movies that his company distributed, including The Butler and The Great Debaters. For those who may not know, Harvey Weinstein is an American filmmaker who rose to become the face of an abuser for the Hash Me Too movement. Per the news, five years ago, the story that had long been whispered in the halls of agencies and studios as well as on film and television sets finally became public. A series of bombshell articles revealed that Harvey Weinstein harassed and assaulted dozens of women for decades and used his power to bully them into silence. According to TMZ, Weinstein said Winfrey encouraged him to defend himself publicly, implying that the TV host might have actually been on Weinstein's side against so many women. However, her people said they never spoke directly, and she was only interested in talking to him for a TV interview. Let's talk about what's happening with Harvey Weinstein. I know you posted on... So I think this is a watershed <laughs> moment. And if we make this just about Harvey Weinstein, then it, we will have lost this moment. Interestingly, Winfrey made no mention of Weinstein during her inspiring Golden Globe speech. She has made it clear during other public utterances on the scandal that the cultural shift underway went much further than Weinstein's crimes alone. In fact, an aspiring actor, Britain's Katia Noble, who spoke at a press conference in November, alleges that Weinstein forced himself on her in a hotel room in Cannes in 2014 and said he used his relationship with Winfrey to groom her. I mean, she could deny it all she wants, but this basically establishes a connection that just seems too close to supporting him. Well, in truth, we shouldn't be too surprised that she might have been on Weinstein's side. I mean, this is someone that lied to the world about getting abused in her book just to boost sales. That's right. And that's not even the only lie she was exposed for in said book, exposure that came from her own family. Although Winfrey claims she never had any new dresses or dolls and had to adopt two cockroaches as pets growing up in rural Mississippi, her cousin contends she was actually relatively spoiled as a little girl. In the biography, Oprah, author Kitty Kelly has claimed that Winfrey's tales have alienated her from much of her family. Where Oprah got that nonsense about growing up in filth and roaches, I have no idea, Catherine Carr Esters said. I've confronted her and asked, why do you tell such lies? Oprah told me that's what people want to hear. The truth is boring. Esters also added that the man in Oprah's life, Stedman Graham, was not really her partner, but rather a fixture to convince her audience that she was normal. Oprah keeps Stedman around because she wants her audience to accept her as a normal woman with a man in her life. But from what I saw during those four years, I can tell you 
There's nothing there with Stedman, nothing at all. James Van Sweden, a landscape architect who spent years working for the couple, said the tabloid also quoted Oprah's father, Vernon, as saying, she may be admired by the world, but I know the truth. So does God and so does Oprah. Two of us remain ashamed, Vernon said. And you know what they say about liars, it's usually a pattern. This was further proven by the other series of controversies Oprah got caught up in as time passed. One of these was the case of the false guru she brought on her show a while back. He is better known as Joao de Deus, or John of God. He's a Brazilian medium healer, subject of a profile by Oprah. Faria became famous for his intense methods of healing. Though he doesn't have a medical license, he performs both spiritual healing, praying intensely for believers and placing hands on them to cure their afflictions, and what appear to be actual surgical procedures without anesthesia. Faria has been written about for years since his practice started in 1978, but an episode of Oprah in 2010 devoted to him raised his profile exponentially. Later, four women appeared on Brazilian television to accuse Faria of abusing them when they'd come to him for assistance. Speaking on TV Globo, three of the women described their encounters with Faria to host Pedro Bial on condition of anonymity. Dutch choreographer Zahira Lineke Moose decided to be named and said that during one of her trips to see the healer to be cured of the trauma of previous sexual assault, he took her into a back room and had her masturbate him. He then had her pick out a gemstone from a set and granted special treatment. She has also accused him of raping her during another session. You would think that a scandal like this with her name attached to it would have been a he height. But as I give you these details, it gets even worse. More than a decade ago, the celebrity TV host set out to establish a high school in South Africa for just girls, but things quickly turned a different light not so long after its official opening. See, shortly after the all-girls high school opened in 2007, a school matron, Virginia Tiny Makopo, was charged with sexually molesting several girls. At the time, Winfrey flew to South Africa to offer a personal apology to the students and their parents, citing her own experience with sexual abuse, an experience that, if I might add, her own family refutes. Nothing is more serious or devastating to me than an allegation of misconduct by an adult against any girl at the academy. Winfrey said in a statement at the time, I will do everything within my power to ensure their safety and well-being. But where all of this actually goes south is when it hit the media a couple of months into it that Makopo, the same person that was charged for the evil act against those girls, was acquitted of the charges. And then shortly after, Oprah gets on the news to say this. And somebody, which I was trying to say this to my friends who had children, you're seven years old and someone is your It feels good. Can you imagine just how far she's willing to go just to push her less than ideal narrative? And to top all of these already terrible things that have happened on account of her one way or the other, someone else in the entertainment industry has called her out. The person in question here is the comedian Monique. In a new interview with The Hollywood Reporter, the 55-year-old comedian discusses both the origins and current standings of her public feuds with Oprah Winfrey, Lee Daniels, and other celebrities. Everything started in 2004 when she met Daniels. The following year, she appeared in his directorial debut, Shadow Boxer. From there, Monique says, she and Daniels never stopped communicating, all the way up to her starring role in the 2009 film, Precious. The film quickly earned critical praise and was part of the awards season discussion, something that Daniels, along with producers Winfrey and Perry, wanted to capitalize on. Monique declined to go on a press tour without being compensated for her time, and thus the rift began. As for why she didn't want to fly to France to promote her critically acclaimed film, Monique told news outlets that the same thing she told Winfrey at the time. I said, Oprah, I'm doing a talk show. I'm doing a comedy tour. I have a husband and I have babies, Monique recalls. I have a little bit of downtime and I'm going to take advantage of it. So I'm not going anywhere because I'm not obligated to go anywhere. I've done my part. So we mutually agreed to disagree. That was it. And while you'd expect a fellow woman to understand that, it wasn't the case with Oprah. At least that's what Mo believes. Because according to the comedian, next thing I know, I am considered difficult and hard to work with adding that she feels she was blackballed in Hollywood as a result of the situation. And although this move from Oprah and the camp affected her whole life and career by extension, Oprah has to this day refused to apologize, which is why Monique decided to call her out again. Well, fans seem to know exactly what she is, and many haven't held back on speaking about it. 
One Redditor wrote, I've had first-hand contact with Winfrey. She is not a nice person. Stuff she gives away are given to her as write-offs. She comes off as a healer. However, she will leave you in the dust and ignore you unless you're on her level or you can help her. She was an FC person on my flight and I tried to serve her. She ignored me and wouldn't even acknowledge to me if she wanted a drink or not on American Airlines. She's a total phony. Looks like there's a lot that goes on with her behind the cameras that most of us don't know about. Anyway, as with all other things in life, only time will reveal the truth. That's it for this video. Goodbye.